of them but you can see some of them here and um, I don't know it just it's basically all of the products that they always send in the boxes and I don't need them again you know what I mean um, it's just like re yeah lots of repetitive products that I have seen a lot of times from Blessim and I mean for the price it's not very um, expensive the Blessim um, advent calendar it's like 70 euros and if you are subscribed uh, to the box it's uh, 10 euros um, less so 60 I don't know, I don't think I will get it uh, um, I think for the same price uh, um, or something more I can get um, another advent calendar that I actually like, you know what I mean? So, yeah, uh, this year uh, it wasn't so great I hope maybe next year will be better But let's actually go back to the beauty box uh, let's see, I cannot see a lot, uh, to be honest, there is this plastic packaging that is covering basically everything, uh, I think maybe this is like a headband, uh, I don't know, it's like a soft fabric, and then I can recognize this product because it's the one that I chose from the email that they sent, um, where I could choose between this and something else, which of course I don't remember so yeah let's put this to the side and uh, we will pick uh, the products one by one so we can take a look at them so I guess so we can start with this very crinkly packaging It says Blissim, so it's from their brand um, and now that I can uh, look at it better I think it's those little um, like bracelets kind of thing that you put uh, on your arms to prevent uh, the water when you wash your face or do your skincare and whatever uh, to go like wet your long sleeves if you know what I mean, like, I'll show you better, let me open this and wet uh, your 
thing on my T zone, so, so my forehead, my nose, and my chin. So that's where I'll be putting um, this one. And I feel like uh, this kind of ingredient uh, also helps with oil control. Uh, so that's really good because I have a combo skin and I do get uh, kind of oily in uh, my T zone on my T zone. So I actually have my phone as always. So that I can read you about all of the products. So this is again from Aromazon Acne Serum Niacinamide. This serum for the face minimizes redness, brown spots, pores, controls sebum production, and keeps pimples from forming. So I was right. And it's nineteen dollars. Um, so I'm guessing it's like maybe 23 euros or something like that. 10% niacinamide, a high dosage of vitamin B3, 1% zinc, purifying copper. Um, how to use? Apply a few drops of the serum on your face and neck. Uh, next, use your fingertips to gently massage the cream. Um, I don't think I would use this all over my face and also my neck. Again, I will be using it only on my T-zone because I feel like that's also where um, you get oily and usually have blackheads. Um, so I don't see the point of using it all over my face and especially on my neck. So, And it's a pump bottle. It's uh, very small, it's 10 ml, but the hydrating one I've had for a long time and it's still basically full and I use it every night so it lasts a long time and especially this one, if again I'm only putting it on my T-zone um, I'm using it even less so it should last even longer and that's good the next product is by Algology. Algology, I think it's called. And it's a Hydra Tender Cream. Uh, let's see. Uh, apply morning and evening to face, neck, and decollete. Avoid contact with the eyes. Okay. So it's for the face. Uh, just like a hydrating, moisturizing cream. I've never heard or seen this brand. I don't think I've ever received anything um, in anything from this brand uh, in any place in boxes. So maybe it's like a new brand. Let's see. So it's actually a really light. I thought it was going to be way thicker um, because it's like in a tube. Uh, usually, if I see, if first of all, I feel like most face creams are usually in like a pot, not in a tube uh, um, or like a tin. Um, when I see tubes like this, I think of body lotions or and the creams so but you know it's it's, it's fine um, I just thought it would be thicker like a body lotion or a hand cream but it's actually uh, pretty light and like almost like a gel kind of feeling it actually smells really nice and it smells exactly like my favorite moisturizer which is from Kaudali, um, I think it's pronounced and it's uh, the one in the pink, uh, dark pink pot, glass pot and it's like from their uh, wine collection, something like that, wine uh, line and it's a gel kind of texture so it actually it's pretty similar um, and that's also a hydrating uh, uh, cream so I don't know if this is like a dupe or something uh, but it smells exactly
exactly the same Let me read about it It actually does come in a glass pot So I'm guessing this is just like a sample um, size And on their website it actually has a lot of reviews Almost 500, uh, sorry, almost 400 So maybe it's actually a very well-known brand uh, so this is 30 euros a light velvety face cream that melts into the skin and refreshes it instantly 24 hours of hydration 93% long-lasting moisturized skin uh, green and clean formulas okay so it doesn't say anything else but the reviews are really good and again there is a lot so i'm actually going to keep this for myself for when i finish my um, the one from cuddly i actually right now i'm using um, the nivea um tin uh, like the the cream in the blue tin because i saw on tiktok so I started using it a couple of months ago and I'll be honest I really like it especially during the winter since it's a very thick thick cream um, it makes my skin look and feel very moisturized whether like these kind of um, face creams are very thin so they are better for the summer so even the Caudalie I only have been using it um, these last few months in the summer um, and then in during like when I do my skincare routine at night I use the Nivea one so I yeah I feel like I'm you know this is like a very similar one to the cuddly one so I am definitely going to keep this for myself and use it either during the day or I'll save it for summer next year I know it's open like I know it probably like says let's see it says 12 months so I'm good either way like I for me a product expires either when I finish it or if it's like it's it, it looks like weird or smells bad I have never thrown out uh, products just because it had been like more months than what it says on the actual packaging I'm sorry <laughs> I know it's probably bad for my skin but I've never had any reactions or anything like that so yeah <laughs> Uh, we have a makeup product um, this is by Sophia plus Mabel um, this brand uh, they send it a lot in these kind of boxes I've had uh, uh, makeup palettes and I think it was Kiera uh, and maybe probably even this um, but I, I'm really picky with my makeup actually so I love when they send it but yeah I'm really picky um, so this this is a extreme old brow gel. Um, it's very plasticky, pink packaging. It looks like kids makeup, kind of. Sorry, and it's um, just a clear brow gel. I have those little blue fluffs <laughs> everywhere. Um, it is very cute very small uh, spoolie brush yeah it, it does uh, look like it's makeup even the the size um, I don't know if it's like a, a sample size um, it's a 5.8 ml um, and it doesn't say anything else um, I like the the box it's plastic uh, um, Oh wait, it says something here. No, it's just the um, the ingredients. It's made in China, and guys, I feel like this is one of those brands that it's not actually a real brand. It's just like 
you know, fillers for, it's just like fillers for these kind of beauty boxes, they buy, you know, packaging and then make a very cheap formula of, you know, in this case, brow gel uh, or even with the eyeshadows and mascaras and then the, they sell it as, as if it's like a good brand, you know. We have another skincare product and I love this brand so I'm really excited to see this. This is by Bioderma and it's a gel cleanser. I'm pretty sure it's uh, of course in French but I've actually had this. I had like the big uh, pump bottle uh, so I think it's the same let me let me see so yeah um this is let's see 45 ml and it's um, and it's ten dollars so it's not too much um the sensi bio gel mosant uh, gently cleanses and removes makeup not striping lips skin feeling comfortable hydrates very good skin and eye tolerance unfragranced physiological ph okay so this is like a very good brand for skincare i think it's actually one of those pharmacy brands uh, because that's where i actually got the big one that i had and um I actually didn't know it was to take off makeup. I actually thought it was just like a face cleanser, like a soap to wash your face. But, you know, even better that it takes off makeup because I'm always looking for a gentler ways of taking off my makeup because I don't like using micellar water or cotton pads or anything like that. I use a oil cleanser and then of course to wash that oil cleanser you need an actual cleanser like a soapy uh, cleanser so even something like this would be really good um, and since it actually is made to take off makeup um, it's going to be even easier because usually what I do is the oil cleanser the normal cleanser and then I do like a it's like a water tonic kind of thing and sometimes like I still find the residue of makeup so as I was saying I'm always looking for newer gentler like ways of taking off my makeup because I don't like you know staying there scrubbing my face for like 20 minutes uh, trying to get uh, all of it off i want you know oil cleansers and gentle soaps that won't damage or irritate my skin so i'm happy that i got this one um i will be definitely using it as a makeup remover too now that i know it's actually for that too <laughs> Let's open it. Oh, okay. 
was all gay. Um, it's like a rose gold kind of color.
So these were all of the products from the October's box. It's, I think it's actually pretty nice. Um, I like that the, there are two makeup products and then even the skincare products are actually good. I love this brand. This feels really nice. Even the reviews were really nice. I love this brand too. Um, and I know that I will love this uh, serum, um, the brow gel, it will go in my collection and I don't know, maybe it will be uh, really good and for a new makeup day, um, instead of using the air one that I usually use, I could use this one if it's not too watery and it actually holds the brow hairs, the highlighter, same thing it will go in my collection and I will test it out as I said and then these little things um, which I don't have a name for but I really love them and I will for sure use and yeah so I think it was actually a pretty good box this month last month I think I didn't like it too much so I'm happy that um, this one was actually better I think my favorite product is probably this one uh, just because again I already know that I love this brand and that I will love this product um, so let me choose a item to do some tapping and then I give you the good night